event e return this presentation will give an overview on implementing dwat e return in busy the presentation consists of two phases one is managing commodity hsn codes and other is generating e return in busy for managing commodity hsn codes you need to perform the following steps download commodity code and name list file from dwat.uv.in create tax category master for each commodity hsn code in busy update tax category for individual items in busy for generating e return in busy you need to perform the following steps download dwat utility from dwat.uv.in generate wat e return in busy import and export file to from the utility upload file on delhi government's website list of commodity hsn codes along with its description is available on delhi government's website dwat.uv.in download the commodity code and name list file open the downloaded excel file and check the commodity hsn codes and description of the items in which you deal for managing commodity hsn codes in busy you need to create tax category for all the commodity hsn codes tax category contains all the tax related information for an item like local central tax rate commodity codes and description please note you cannot specify hsn commodity codes directly in item master hsn codes will be picked from the tax category master tagged with the item an important point to note here is that you need to create separate tax category master for each hsn code even if the tax rate is same for example fans and tube lights are taxable at 12.5% but hsn codes are different for these items that is 9029 and 9030 respectively in such a case you need to create two different tax category masters with same tax rate but different hsn code and description in busy open tax category master specify tax rate hsn code description and click save button to save the master repeat this process for all the hsn codes you require in order to avoid confusion please give a relevant tax category master name Now that we have created all the required tax category masters the next step is to update or tag these tax category masters with the items one way to update tax category in item is by opening item master and changing updating tax category master other method is by updating tax category in bulk by using update item tax category and multiple item creation utilities We will discuss these one by one. First, open item master. We are creating a new item master here and specify the required tax category with it. Click save button to save the item master. Now open update item tax category utility in administration bulk updation menu. Select whether you want to update tax category for selected item or group of items. and specify the required tax category now open multiple item creation utility provided under administration bulk updations menu with this utility you can view all selected items at a glance and change update tax category on opening this utility select modify existing masters option and click select wheels button select tax category name field and add it to exist list of fields if you wish you can remove certain existing fields also click load masters button to select items for which you want to change update tax category in the screen change update tax category as per your requirement 
and click the save button. We have completed first phase that is managing commodity adjacent codes in Busy. Now the next phase is to generate DWAT e-return. For generating DWAT e-return, first of all, download the DWAT utility from Delhi government's website. On the website, click download link and then offline block. Now install the utility on your computer. Open the utility and enter your TIN number and sign in to the utility. Now open Busy. Click Annexure 2A, Annexure 2B options provided under Display Sales Text VAT menu. Generate e return using these options. Specify path of the templates, that is, where the templates are kept. Specify the path where e-written file will be generated. Click the OK button to generate an extra 2A e-written. Now again open the DVAT utility and click import. Import from DVAT 16 2A option. Specify file name generated through Busy and click the advanced import button. After importing click the save button. Repeat this process for Annexure 2B. Now click Export from DVAT 16 2A and 2B. Select the required year, quarter and click the Export button. On clicking the Export button, it will show you path of the file exported. This exported file is to be uploaded on Delhi government's website. This completes the process of generating DVAT e-written in Busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.